Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, a few of you with the arrival of the October 2020 update that is to be um, released in October, sometime in October. There's no official date. All we know is that we have a name, October 2020 update, and that it should be technically um, released in October, so in a few weeks from now. But I got some questions about, so what's next? What is the next version of Windows going to be called? And when is it going to be available? That is where it's getting interesting now, if, as we look at the future, is that there are several things that can happen. And, of course, one of the first things that some of you are asking is, do we see or do the insiders see any new features for the future and yeah there's a little bit of stuff but honestly not a lot of it and there's really no big wow feature uh, for now we uh, seem to see that windows 10 development is kind of slowing down a little bit um, less new features and more uh, more just updating and uh, well you know it's uh, we're we're going through 2020. Version 2004 arrived in May. 25% uh, roughly, uh, the last number we have were in the May 2020 update. We're a few weeks away from October 2020 update. 2021 has several possibilities, and it depends on how and if Microsoft holds on to what the rumors are from the tech journalists that you know talk to some of the insiders at Microsoft. The official version right now is that 2021, we will have only one update to Windows 10. The feature update would be in the second half of 2021. So, you know, when we look at versions of Windows, like for example, if I uh, a click and I type Winver, one of the things we see is um, it's called a certain thing. So version 20H2, for example, here. This is going to be, by the way, the official naming system when you will look at what version you are at. So version 20H2 is what's going to appear when you look at the Windows version once you're upgraded to the October 2020 update officially. But we're going to move on, and in 2021, so we'll have 21H2, which will be the next big feature update. And that would be a feature update with a big install like we've seen. And the reason why we uh, right now don't see a version for 21H1, which is the first half of 2021, it's something called Windows 10X. Windows 10X would be released and that would be the release this fall. A lot of people are asking me if Windows 10X is going to be pushed to, uh, you know, uh, to us on our computers and so on. Windows 10X is a different thing. Um, you know, it's not the same Windows 10 operating system. It is a stripped down version, kind of a, a version where they removed a lot of the stuff that's unused and uh, or too heavy or you know what we don't need and put it to a machine that will so machines that have less power will be able to run windows 10x uh this is something going forward that we um we don't really know exactly how it's going to go but windows 10x and windows 10 would be parallel will be two versions of windows the first iteration of Windows 10X would not run Win32 apps. That means that if you want to have Google Chrome, for example, you would not be able to do so. Not with the first version next year. But the second version, which would be at the first half of 2022, so now we're starting to get pretty far ahead, would run Win32 apps. That means you would have Google Chrome, you would have your favorite programs running in it, in what we call containers which are um, unique little spaces where they are isolated from the system. 21H2 
will bring us the next feature update of Windows 10, and we have very little information as to what's going to be there or not. Um, and this is going to show slowly its um, its nose when we actually have insider versions that start pushing a lot more of some uh, features. And, you know, any insider is going to tell you it's kind of boring right now with the dev channel because we don't really see many new things, if at all. The second path, so that's the first idea. This is the one that is what everybody is hearing. The second one is also something that some might actually be hearing. We're staying with Windows 10 X in the first half. And we are going to have a big feature update in the second half. But 21H1 would still be a thing, which would still be a cumulative update. So a small update once again. From the May 2020 update, version 2004, you're getting a small cumulative update that will bring you to version 20H2, which is the October 2020 update. And we would have the same thing, a small cumulative update, for the first half of 20. 21, which would be something new because we never had two cumulative updates or kind of service pack, if you want, um, that followed each other. That would be minor upgrades. And we would have in the second half of 2021, another big feature update with hopefully some new features. And uh, it's kind of interesting to see this. So that's a path. That's the other path that we'll see. And of course, Third path, and that's, we, we got to say that it's possible. Third path is Microsoft changing its mind and coming back to two big updates a year or one small, one big or whatever. Uh, that could also happen. Windows 10 X not happening. That could happen. We never know. It's a very, very interesting thing because uh, they're kind of late in a lot of things. And it seems like it's getting... Uh, a little weird as to the future of, of both Windows and what will happen with Windows 10 X and how it will be actually, how it will arrive and what will run it and so on. So these are what basically the future, what the ideas behind what's the possibilities for 2021. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.